Welcome back to Backstage Pass. We're trying to find Arizona's most beautiful woman on this special segment of the show. And with me tonight is Marsha Fine, president of Lamage Casablancas. How are you tonight, Marsha? Good evening. How are you, Joel? Great. We're looking for Arizona's most beautiful woman. What is that image to, uh, to Lamage? To us, it's somebody who has a real healthy um, outdoor look, um, somewhat sophisticated, and certainly natural. And uh, is there a good market here in Arizona? Can a woman make a good living at modeling? I think so. They have to be versatile in our market. There is not enough fashion work to carry them the entire year. So it's essential that they be able to do TV commercial work, some film work that comes into town, or even promotion and convention work, and also photography. There is, as I said, a, a good market here, but there's just not enough in any one particular area. Now, a lot of models that you see are, are like bean pole type or a tall and thin don't have much of a body. Is that the type of look that you're looking for print material or is there the different types of models? There are different kinds of models. The kind of model you described, actually that look is, is kind of out now. Uh, they're looking for young women when they do a bathing suit, let's say for print work or it's a bathing suit runway show, that has a good toned body. In other words, women have been working out and there's a tremendous fitness craze going on. So they want to make sure that women feel good about themselves and look good and are appealing. So there's a little more meat on the bones. And if you've been reading the women's magazines, you know that the uh, bus line is definitely coming back. Marilyn Monroe, Monroe is back in style. And what is it that, that you're looking for? If a, if a girl wanted to start out in modeling or a man, how would they go about it? Is there a cost involved? Uh, how does the, uh, the agencies make the money? Well, first of all, um, many people have potential and they do not realize it simply because they haven't packaged themselves correctly. There is a market for really anyone. Someone who is very real looking that isn't necessarily beautiful can certainly do TV commercial or acting work. Um, we don't cast a number of major roles here, but we do have principals cast or walk-in parts or some speaking parts and certainly tons of extras for the film industry. Um, it just depends on who they are. With women, sometimes women are under the misconception that they have to be very tall. That's not necessarily true anymore. In, in fact, we just had a Debbie Reynolds show here where they used all petite models. We've had a tremendous market here for petites. Um, New York works with us. We send a number of our young women to New York. And petites are under 5'7", but they can be in the 5'4", the 5'3 range. So it really can encompass anything. With men, um, it's a matter of a look. It isn't so stylized as they have to have a, you know, high cheekbones or they have to have a square jaw. It's a matter of style and a look. As with anything, it does require an investment. Our school and our agency are separate. So many people come to us train for training first before they interview with an agency. Going to interview with any agency is not a good idea if you do not have your portfolio put together and your look is not put together. And by look, it is a very subjective thing, but someone who knows the business can help someone with their hair and their wardrobe and their makeup and, and their whole manner of presenting themselves. Because what you're doing essentially is trying to sell yourself to the agent so that they can represent you. Well, thank you, Marcia, for being a part of the show and representing what Lamage Casablanca is looking for in the models. Thank you very much, Joel, for being here and for doing a segment like this. We love to show off our talent. Thank you.